Okay, so this is a uh, little bit about Adobe Bridge. Adobe Bridge comes as part of the suite. CS6 is what I'm using on this particular machine. If you went ahead and ordered or got the new version of Adobe Photoshop CC with Lightroom, Bridge doesn't come as part of that, so you have to go and get it separately. But for every other version before the CCs, Bridge has been part of it. Let me show you a couple of quick things that you can do with Bridge to kind of um, present the artwork that your students have been doing, maybe even have them organize some of their pieces and put together a little baby PDF slideshow that can be sent anywhere very quickly. So this is Bridge, and I'm going to click one time on this to make us see that Bridge is at the top up here. And you know, and I got out of that a little bit. There you go. There's Bridge right there, and we're inside the Bridge layout to make it fill the whole screen here. I'm just going to zoom to this little green button right here and hit the green, and now it is zoomed all the way out and fills the whole space. That's your maximize button on a Mac. What I see here is a folder that I've already navigated to and you can kind of see the breadcrumb trail that exists here. It's my computer, then the hard drive, and the users, that's the same thing as the hard drive. I don't know why they have folders inside folders, but there they do. There's my uh, home, the desktop. Then I had a folder on the desktop called Mac Desktop Save for Sacramento. And inside that I had a little folder called Fin or Finished. And so what I want to show you is what I might do with some of the images that I have inside this folder. And let's let's pretend for a moment that these are students' images and we want to put them all together as a slideshow. <clears throat> so it goes something like this. On the left hand side in Bridge you see favorites and folders and then underneath you see filters. You can actually hunt down these filters images by certain filters. So I know that I've got uh, eight different pictures that are five star pictures in here and then I've got 29 that are JPEGs and eight Photoshop documents etc so it's an easy way to hunt down some of the pictures and if you're using Bridge with your students you could say hey go find me all of the Photoshop documents these are the images that you worked on and that's how they can do that what I'd like to do though is I can see inside my my setup here I've got a couple of folders I don't want those other folders showing up in this little slideshow I'm gonna do so what I want to do is get rid of those, or I'd like to select everything but those. So as long as you're inside Bridge, you can click the very first image and either do Command A or Shift click the last image. And now they're all selected. But again, I don't want them all selected. It tells me I have 44 images selected, and I can see that over here. And I can also see it down the bottom as well. It tells me how many are in there and the file, the file size of all 44 put together. Well, I don't want them all, so what I'm going to do is hold down the Command key now and click on the ones I don't want, and this will eliminate those from this particular set. I don't want the Word documents in here, and I don't want the folders. All the rest of these appear to be images, and I think I'm doing pretty well with this. So at this point, I'd like to come over to the left-hand side here, and I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to choose this collections right here. I hit collections and it allows me to make different collections of pictures. A very similar thing to what Lightroom can do. Let me show you what you do. Down the bottom of the page it now says I have 37 items selected. I want to click this little plus sign next to this folder that says new collection. And when I click on it I'm going to see a little box that asks me the question, would I like to include the selected files in this new collection? And I say yes. Now there they are. So I've got the collection showing up and it comes in automatically lit up kind of light blue. We like that. And we're just going to call this slideshow. Okay. And I'm going to say return. And now I've got 37 images in my slideshow folder. And just like that, I could create a very, very quick slideshow for the parents coming to see the show this tonight, tomorrow, whatever. I've got a couple of pictures here, <clears throat> excuse me, that are bigger, uh, or should be next to each other, excuse me. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click and hold that one down. That's a little drawing that one of my college kids did, 
and we're going to put that in between the, uh, the first picture and the last picture. I don't want that one there. I'm going to move it around. So what I would see in sequence, and you can see it showing up over here in my preview, is the first one is the drawing. And you guys saw this in one of our little uh, weeks um, reference uh, setups. And there's the, the photograph, and then there's the finished piece. Great. And here's a couple other images that kind of go together. And we've got some other things. I'm not exactly sure how they're all going to fit together, but that's okay. And um, maybe I've got two. Look at this. I've got two of the same image here. So I don't want both of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, click on one, and then I'm going to control click, which is the same thing as right-clicking on a Mac. And I'm going to say remove this from the collection. That's all I want to do. It's just getting it out of the collection. It's not throwing it away. It's just taking it out of this set. Kind of nice. All right, here you go. This is it. Parents are coming in. You've got bridge open. You've got all the pictures that your kids have been working on. You either scan them in or photograph them and then put them in as a file, put them into a folder. You open up the folder. You click on the first one. And then you go to the word view on the very top. And it asks you to uh, give you, you ask this to give you some options for a slideshow. So I'm going to hit slideshow options. And I'm just going to say to this, zoom back and forth. That's kind of like a Ken Burns kind of thing, kind of cool. And then I'm going to have that repeat the slideshow. So in other words, it's just going to keep going, which is kind of nice. And then down the bottom, just because the kids love all the fun stuff here, what we're going to do is we're going to change the transitions from dissolve to random. Very cool. And we'll move our transitions, well, I don't know, someplace like that. Sounds good. Okay. And what I'm going to do here is just hit play. Watch what happens. So we see the first image show up, and it stays for a couple of seconds, and then it's going to dissolve or transition into the next image, which will stay on there. I think we had it set for five seconds, and then it will dissolve to the next one. Isn't that cool? And so you could just have this running on a loop as the parents are coming in. I don't know if you have this for your elementary school students or your high school students, perhaps, but these are all some college image, images that we've done at uh, NHIA in a class called Experimental Photography. And so this would just run. And as your parents were coming in for parent night or whatever, you could have this projected on the screen. Pretty cool.